Okay, hello guys, I, I've solved it. And to see, um, okay, we were about to see how um, the example where, um, at, where we attached a uh, restricted uh, channel of uh, MAM uh, works. And uh, you remember that to do it, you need to um, use pass three as example to the three is arguments to the file we have previously examined. Uh, we just can't try to do it. So uh, yeah, I've launched it. This is the device that publish every 10 seconds. And now here yeah, I should be able. But I have received the full message. Okay, it works. And now let's try to retrieve according to uh, Okay, and uh, we will start retrieving the our stream of data from this root hash that was the first root hash and let's see where uh, First, we can try to do it with the wrong uh, key. Let's see what happens. Here is the, the same this, the key I, I defined it before, and you uh, saw how. And let's see how it, what, what's happened. I never tried to, but you shouldn't be able to read it. Instead, you do. Mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe there is something that's working into the example. Mm. Okay, it doesn't work if you try with this. I don't know with the IoT, I will with pause it. Now we should do it. I don't know why if you remove just zero it works. Maybe because it leaves zeros and then it takes it. So uh, we can s we we, we um, typing Prova for example or anything else here, which is not IoT two zero two. It works apparently, and. Um, it doesn't work. It can it can read. It can read. Does it? Uh, you should. You can see that you should use the same key as defined in the previous example. Okay. In in, in the attach into into the attach restricted data restricted file. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's close all this stuff. This is our streams. We can stop it. Okay, and we, we got an idea of what, how, how MAM works. And I suggest you to go through the this library and trying to, to, to redo the steps that I've shown you. So we are almost at the end of our tutorial. And uh, I want to show you a real uh, use example, okay, of how to use uh, two actually use example. We can, you can go through the tutorials that um, I, linked you that will send you here which is a uh, high mobility which is um, a simulator for uh, car applications okay and uh, it seemed that uh, as pa his partner is in partnership with with iota for building uh, a network where you can link your um, your uh, your your care data with your with the iota application okay uh, you just need to register if you don't have an account. I already did it, and uh, you uh, have to create an app from here. I created mine, and the example I want to show you is to I want to show you how to charge your car 
um, how to pay for charging your car, for example. This is a nice example. And for see the tutorial, you just need to uh, go to... You need to um, import your IOTA, the IOTA tools from your dashboard. You are here, you need to import your IOTA tools from your dashboard. Going to here, going to Blueprint and uh, going to Charging Payment. And here, this is the tutorial of, of how to include your, um, how to, to, to realize this task. You can try to do by yourself, actually. You have the solutions in the, in the tutorial, in the, in the repo that I've shown you. But essentially, you should, um, uh, you should, first, okay, um, first you need to uh, create a, uh, uh, two emulators one emulators both from here into the your uh, iota button but uh, one for my child from one one with the charger like with the iota charger one with the iota vehicle and you need to link your both of these objects to your hub okay uh, which is uh, man okay so you can see also here that you will have both these um this uh, this device connected then as you can see into the um, tutorial uh, you need to import two constants okay well the one is the the, the iota ones that we have already seen how to import it and the second is this uh, access token or maybe I don't know what it is, but you need to pass this stuff to this constructor and you can retrieve it from here client certificate and you uh, can copy it okay and uh, you uh, then you will in the repo that uh, in this folder here you have all the files that you will need and this is uh, the example we are using now and you should go through these steps and um, you should generate an account you know, an account yeah fulfill it with your with, uh, with, the, with the tokens and uh, um, you have to create the seed we have already done it uh, we you have to generate an address we saw how to do it do it and then uh, using um, the files here um, you, you you don't have you just have to type npm install to install all the necessary packets for working with it and then you will go into here you will have um, in this file you will have all the necessary for uh, for working with uh, our example and as you, as i told you you have to initialize these two constant okay this is with the um, information here that I type in, into my example and then you need to pass some tokens and some this is the seed that you will generate okay uh, the IOTA seed for your address because the vehicle pays for the um, for the uh, for the for the the, the vehicle pays for for the MG and this is the seed for the charger that receives this uh, information. Then you need to pass to um, you need to type the access token for the vehicle and you retrieve it easily from um, uh, here. Uh, no, I'm back. You need to go here access token and you will have it here. And you just need to copy it. Okay. And you do, should do the same for the access token for the charger. And um, this will be, you can use this same stuff. And in this way, you will see uh, a simple example of how to use your application, um, how to use your example within your uh, application, okay? Um, and this is a real case scenario which is I think it's quite interesting 
uh, I leave it I leave it to you as an exercise so you can try to do it by yourself anyway it's good uh, because it, it you can use it to, to to mix together all the stuff that we have learned in the previous examples and um, I remember to access it I think you need to be um, authenticated so register first login login then you will arrive here and uh, you should add your IOTA tools here and then from here because it won't appear at the beginning and then from here uh, you should add, you should go to blueprints and charge in payment okay and here you have the tutorial you need to follow it's quite easy and I suggest you to do it to be more confident with IOTA and uh, in order to make it work you should run the um, the emulators and the emulators works, works like this um, here it is. you click on launch the emulator and you will go into here go back you launch this emulator and then I can see I can show you how it works you should go to high mobility blueprints charger and okay I think that here you should type NP start npm start to make it work yes npm start to start Remember that you have to um, f f f um, give give money to this address. Okay, you can give it. You can give to him uh, more than one iota that I, as I did before. But you can give more iotas. And now we are waiting for the confirmation of the payment. And once it is confirmed, you should start uh, uh, charging your car. It is actually charging already. Oh, you remember to doesn't don't leave it otherwise it will but it takes a, a moment okay published so you have paid for charging your car and this is an applica night application for uh, for your example for for uh, see a real case a real case scenario of using uh, iota uh, okay we have a problem here and I I don't know how, uh, how it, what happened. Uh, it's related with this packet. I don't know what this is. Anyway, um, um, mm, it's a nice. It's charging now. You can see as you can see. And uh, so go through this tutorial and try to do it as an exercise. And um, ah, you have the official wrap also linked in this tutorial that you can use and um, that that I took for my for my for my example okay so um, try to do it and let's see after last example uh, the last uh, real case uh, use case scenario this is a funny one and uh, for example uh, this is a paper coffee iota plus nespresso coffee machine in our apartment, we have the coffee machines in our um, in the entrance. Okay, and imagine that if you could pay them with iotas. Okay, and this guy he spent his time, his free time in doing so, and he has. Um, you just have to. This is the QR code for its uh, for the iota address that receives the payments for the coffee machine. And he has attached it to this um, microcontroller, and it has this uh, this uh, this PCB board for that he has integrated into the the circuits of the Nespresso, and it essentially one I think it works for controlling the Nespresso for uh, checking whether it has 
receive the payment or not okay then he has, he has print this uh, this case where he where he put the he put the, the, the display okay he does some wiring you can go through this tutorial and uh, uh, he um, you can see how he drinks coffee and it's And this is a nice example, for example, that could be, I think it's funny because, you know, the department could, could be funny to use it. And uh, he's paying IOTAS for its uh, for his coffee. And once the, 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 the machine will retrieve this information, it will uh, start uh, uh, giving to this guy his coffee that he has holding. It takes time I don't know. because he, okay, as you can see, it's giving it's, it's giving him the coffee, and uh, he has uh, paid for that. He has paid for them with uh, Iota, and uh, I think that's a nice example. You can have also here the code. It's uh, with Arduino libraries, I guess, and. Um, I hope you find this lesson interesting. I know there were a lot of stuff, but you're gonna have all the time to go through them. And don't uh, hesitate to contact me for any doubt you have. And um, and if you need more more resources, uh, please uh, text me on or write me on, on Slack, and uh, I will add this information into um, uh, into the the Redmi Rebel. And uh, okay. Great, and see you soon.